Yo, we are live. What's going on, everybody? Los here, coming at you from Los's Comic Journey. And I got a special unboxing today. So this one is, is pretty cool because uh, if you've seen my previous uh, video where I actually cracked and cleaned and pressed this book. So it was previously a 9.0 copy. Um, I believe I still have, hold on one second. Uh, here we go. Sorry about that. But uh, so this book right here was NYXO. That light, that glare is funky. Okay. So it was an NYX3 right there, if you can see that. Uh, so NYX3, it was a 9 0. And uh, it, like I said, if you've seen the previous video, you know that this book was part of my first submission to CGC. And this was, you know, done, uh, I don't know, nine, 10 years ago, whatever it was. Uh, this was before I knew anything about uh, cleaning and pressing. Um, I, I didn't even know that was even a thing back then, right? Um, I just saw these books and I thought they were good books to to kind of, you know, just put into to submit. So just want to, so uh, my brother, uh, being Brokeville, uh, Bodega Cats Comics, so he was in the chat and he was uh, tailgating. Uh, Unruly, what's going on, brother? Uh, so I'm going to let a few people hopefully uh, stop in. Um, I know there's a few other things going on right now and other, a couple other people going live, uh, but I do have a giveaway um, during the live stream and I would like for the person to win to actually be in the in the stream. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to give a few minutes uh, for people to kind of like pop up in there. Hopefully a few more people show up. If not, I think, uh, you know, Unruly might, uh, you know, he, he might win uh, by default. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, yeah, you know, so like I said, um, this was you know part of my first submissions uh, going to CGC. Uh, and I, I thought based on the graders notes that I read, you know, they said it had some uh, some waviness to the cover. Um, it had like uh, some kind of uh, debris or whatever, you know, something on the back cover. Um, and when I took a look at the book, it actually looked pretty good. It looked like it was a contender uh, to be cracked and pressed. It was a couple of spine ticks, but um, they were not color breaking. And, you know, the gunk that was on the back, you know, yeah, definitely for sure. Um, and and th the one the one reason why I also wanted to crack, it was a perfect time for me to crack and press it. Is because during uh, Boston Con or Boston Fan Expo, uh, Joe Casado was there, and he doesn't really show up to many cons, especially Boston uh, Fan Expo. Um, yeah, I know he's showing up to New York uh, Comic Con. Jeffrey, what's going on, brother? Um, so Joe Casado was like, he's showing up to, to New York Comic Con, and I know he usually shows up to like the larger cons, like New York, um, you know, maybe like uh, Mega Con or something like that, uh, San Diego Comic Con. He'll show up to the bigger ones. But he's never really shown up to like a local one of mine. So the, when I saw he was going to be there, I was like, yeah, I, I definitely uh, it's a perfect time to crack this book out, um, clean and press it and, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, get a grade bump. So I did a video on cracking it. Uh, you know, I cracked it out live, you know, on on camera. And, uh, you know, it, it was a little not unnerving, but it was a little I was a little nervous uh, just because. Um, I've never cracked a book while on camera. I've cracked it, you know, outside of camera and then, you know, I've done it like that, but just being on camera, doing it, um, talking about it as I'm doing the process, uh, and then actually cleaning it and then putting it in the press. So I went through that whole process, um, just so people could see, again, I am not a professional, uh, clean impressor by any means. Uh, I've only done my books and, you know, I've, I've helped my brother a few times, but other than that. I haven't done it for like profit or anything. It's just for me. Uh, I'm a little too nervous to, to deal with other people's books. Um, so I did that and I'm like, hey, you know what? Perfect timing. So I cracked it out, um, sent them in. They came back already. Um, I, I only, you know, kind of did this. I haven't unboxed them yet. And I wanted to um, do a giveaway 
during the stream. Uh, I wanted to, you know, have people guess and see if um, this got a grade bump or not. Um, and, you know, whoever guesses the grade um, live on stream, um, we'll get some books, right? Uh, so I, I thought it was, it was pretty cool, pretty fitting, uh, especially, like I said, the fact that this is my first uh, time that I've cracked the press of the book and try to get a, a grade bump. Yeah, so um, I've, I've cracked a few slabs, uh, but this was the first time I actually cracked one like on camera. Um, so I was like, it was uh, pretty interesting to say the least um, on, on camera. I do have a another book in this. It was a two two submissions uh, in this, but the other one I um, this one wasn't uh, anything like I I knew. This didn't really have a chance. Uh, TJ, what's going on? A5? Okay. <laughs> I, you know what, TJ? I think that was a deliberate um, misguess, just so you know, you, you're not in the running for the giveaway. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm you know glad everybody's here, stuff like that. But uh. The, the first book that was in the submission, I bought off of a seller on on Instagram. It's uh, that that comic guy, that comic book guy, uh, that comic book underscore guy. Sorry. Um, <laughs> and um, so this book is just a, a variant cover that I've always wanted. Um, it, it just it, beautiful book. Um, the artist is like one of my favorite artists, Frank Cho. And when I saw it, I thought it looked nice. Um, he, he had it listed um, for a while for sale and nobody bought it. And I shot him an offer. He accepted it. So I'm like, hey, even better. And um, it was just in time for, again, Boston Fan Expo, which two of uh, two of the guy uh, creators were uh, of this book were there. So Frank Cho was there and Jeff Loeb was there. So, and again, he's another guy who doesn't really show up to a lot of things. So I'm like, hey, perfect. I can get a double signed. Um, it did have a little bit of color rub, um, like by the bottom staple um, or by the, like the Marvel sign, which I knew it wasn't going to be 9.8. I didn't give a shit. I just wanted the book in high, you know, decent grade, um, which the rest of the book looked pretty good. So I was like, hey, you know what? Um, this this would be good. It's a, for the personal, it's the PC. So I didn't really care. Um, so I'm going to show this one while we wait, you know, see if any more people show up. And that is... Um, Ultimates number three, well, Ultimates three, number three, uh, the variant cover. So this is the Frank Cho variant and, you know, come on, you can see why, um, I like this, you know, cover so much. It's just, it's just an awesome cover and, uh, got it double signed and, um, you know, this is not part of the giveaway, but if anybody wants to guess what the grade is on this guy, um, you know, you go for it. <laughs> I'll give you a few seconds to kind of put in your guesses. But yeah, it just, you know, just a great, yeah, I'm really, I, like I said, I, I, I love Frank Cho. I love the way he draws, uh, you know, women, you know, just in, draws in general, but um, just so, so much detail uh, in the cape and the flow, like it just, it was awesome. And the fact that they both signed it right over um, both of like her energy being, I thought that was pretty cool. So um, I was, I dug it. I'm like, oh, that's perfect. All right? And I didn't even say anything. They just did that on their own. So I'm like, that's perfect. So it came back a nine, six. So when I saw that, I was, you know, super happy. Um, definitely uh, happy to have this book in the collection. And, you know, a nine, six double signed. I will take that all day. Um, just, just a gorgeous book. Um, and, and, and I, de I definitely wanted them to sign um, above. I didn't want to, you know, have it signed anywhere here. Uh, so that's why I had them sign over here. So I don't care that it, it you know, blocked the, the name. <laughs> I don't care. I was like, I don't, I don't want the artwork to be damaged. So uh, <laughs> so I was like, you know what? Get that, get that out of the way. Um, so definitely happy to have that in the PC. It's going to look great when I finally display some books here um i have to put up some shelving uh the last time i had shelved up there they fell 
Um, so I'm going to make sure they, they're on their good this time. Um, so I'll definitely do that. And so, like I said, while we wait for the main event, I guess, um, let me show the books that you can actually win in the giveaway. And um, the first book is uh, I kind of went with like an NYX theme because that's the, the main book that I'm showing off. And uh, the first one is Fallen Angels, uh, number one, the Young Guns variant. And, um, you know, yeah, she's not prominent in it, but she's there. She's right there. Um, you know, Psylocke on the cover, you know, in front and center. Um, but, you know, she's right there. So that's the first book in the giveaway. Uh, the second book is an NYX, oh, NYX, X23, number five variant. Um, I believe this is a connecting cover. And I believe it connects to uh, Return of Wolverine number one, I think, or something like that. Uh, and he's on this on this side. So, you know, if you can find that one, I don't think I have it. Uh, but, you know, again, this was an X-23 thing. So I wanted to show her off. So you get that book. And the last book you will get is Wolverine number 80. And this is the, you know... Uh, controversial uh, issue where there's a test tube that's labeled X-23. Uh, so, you know, apparently everybody's like, oh, this is her first mention of X-23 or something like that. Um, even though I believe the writer of this book, um, you know, is known to say that that has no um, no effect or he, he, drew, he wrote that and it's no connection to X-23 or whatever. Um, so, you know, people are just making that connection because they saw it. And so, but, you know, people still, you know, make this, uh, you know, some kind of something with her. So I'm like, hey, you know what? The next 23, we'll throw it in there, right? So those are the three books uh, you can win. You know, again, it's free books, right? Who doesn't like free comics? Um, and like I said, because it's, you know, X-23, I, wanna, I wanted to do X-23 stuff. So... Uh, I'm not going to, I I don't want to have this drag on too long. Cause like I said, it was only two book, uh, unboxing. And, uh, so we're going to do the X, the X, uh, X, uh, NYX three. <laughs> um, and, uh, so for this one, so you can get your guesses in now. Um, so here we go. X 23, Joe Casada signature right there. So, I mean, it would be awesome if Joshua Middleton was there as well, and I could have had a double sign, but, you know, it is what it is, right? So, there it is right there. You can take, kind of take a look at it. Um, I was able to remove uh, the crap in the back, so it was kind of like somewhere in there. So, I removed that, and uh, so I kind of got rid of that. And uh, But, yeah, so that's the book. You guys take a look. And uh, we will go on the count of three. So you just get those final entries in. Oh, we'll do five second countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. So it came back a nine eight. So, um, you could, you could tell, I, so I knew the grade um, just because I didn't feel like waiting. I was just like nervous as all hell to see what, what it was going to do. Um, and like I said, you can see the original label here. It was 9 0. And uh, yeah, now it's a 9 8 signed by Joe Casada. So I am extremely extremely happy to have this in the pc um you know getting uh you know what uh nine two nine four nine six you know a four grade bump on this guy um i yeah so i am super happy to have this in the pc and this will definitely be one of the books um that's gonna be displayed <laughs> um yeah yeah thank thank you thank you appreciate it yeah, I'm really like I, you know, I was not definitely not expecting, um, you know, 
take not a nine eight. I definitely wasn't expecting that. Um, I was, you know, maybe anticipating like a nine four, you know, maybe a nine six at best. I'm like, you know, maybe it gets there, but you know, sometimes CGC they'll find whatever something. Um, and again, you know, you can have books that look like shit, have ticks or whatever, and it comes like a nine eight. You have books that are like immaculate and you know they 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 come back a, a nine six or a nine four so who knows what's what's going on with cgc sometimes but like i said i'm super happy to have this um i'm really uh was the closest with a nine four i believe um so uh just let me know brother and um i mean i i have you on uh on on ig so I'll, I'll hit you up um i'll get your address and i'll get those books over to you man uh so i appreciate it you know like i said uh yeah yeah, you never know what you're gonna get, right? I mean, like I said, you can, you can. I I know people have like some unrealistic um, expectations sometimes with CGC, and they look at a book and they just assume, okay, I saw the front, I saw the back, um, corners are crisp. There's no spine ticks, so it must be a nine eight, right? Uh, but they don't, you know, notice the waviness in a book, or they don't look in the inside of the book and notice that there's a little dog ear on one of the pages, or there might have been, um, you know, a, a piece of like dirt or, you know, a speck of something or whatever that got inside the book. And, you know, when it's in packaging or it's, it's been sitting there, all of a sudden now it gets a little indent. Um, handling your books without gloves, sending them in, um, they get, you know, oil from your fingertips, you know, any kind of those, that'll hit you. Uh, so there's so many things that people don't look for, you know, on top of that, right? They don't open the books, you know, a loose staple uh, and all those little things that you don't notice if you don't open the book. And, you know, people just be like, oh yeah, this is a definite nine, eight. This is a definite nine, eight. And then it comes back and it's like a nine, six or nine, four. And they're like, oh, what the hell? It's like, you need to check your books a lot more. And I'm really harsh on my books. Um, I look at a book and I'm like, if I see any little imperfection, I minus a grade. I'm like, well, minus down it's and i started i started uh, excuse me i started a 10 i see a little imperfection okay it's a nine nine okay i see another one it's a nine eight i see another one so like i you know take off so many things um so that way you know i manage my expectations with cgc uh because i just i'm not gonna go through that <laughs> but uh yeah ah, excuse me yeah absolutely man check those books you have to check your books. Um, you can't just assume that the book is a nine eight just because you looked at the front cover and maybe the back and you're like, oh, this is perfect. It's going in. I was like, nah. You definitely need to check your books. Uh, I, again, I'm not a, a a professional grader. I'm not a professional uh, cleaner presser, but I I I've submitted enough books uh, to at least know what's gonna you know ding you for certain things and. Um, yeah, so you, you definitely have to check, man. You, you can't just let it slide and just be like, oh, yeah, this is a 9-8. Definite 9-8. And they're like, mm, no. <laughs> Even if you think it's a definite 9-8, um, they still might hit you with something. So definitely check those books. But that's it for that unboxing. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, and like I said, I'm going to try to wrap this up before uh, 20 minutes. And um, thanks for stopping in, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, like I said, I'm really, I will hit you up as I get those books out to you. And thanks for stopping in, guys, man. I appreciate it. Until next time. I think I have another unboxing coming up. I have some other books that are in the works. So stay tuned for that. Um, I do have another um, I do have another uh, show that I do uh, currently with my brother and, uh, and uh, um, Jose. It's Bodega Cats Comics. So definitely check that out. We have a few episodes already in the bank. So definitely check those out. We're trying to put out videos every week. Um, and I, I think you guys enjoy it. It's a different kind of like variety show. We put out different topics every week and we, you know, discuss it. So definitely check that out. Yo, what's going on? I chemist appreciate it. Stopping in brother. Uh, so I had two books. I'll just do a quick recap. Uh, the first book was ultimates number three, ultimates three, number three, the variant cover, Frank Cho, um, got it signed by Frank Cho and Jeff Loeb and it came back a nine, six. So happy about that. And um, the main book, which um, I cracked and pressed, it was a, oh, Jesus. Okay, there we go. 
Wow, that glare. Um, a 9 0. And I cracked it, cleaned the press it, got it signed by uh, Joe Casada, and it came back a 9 8. Yeah. So uh, I am, you know, super happy about that. Um, this, you know, I basically brought this book from a $500 book to essentially a $1,600 book with that bump. Yeah, thank you, brother. Yeah, um, I ha I've had these frames for um, for a while. Uh, I bought them a while ago, and um, I'm pretty sure I sent the um, the link to Burke, um, Burke uh, at um, Burke Family Comics. He was asking me about them, and um, I think I still have the link. So you know, if anything, you can hit me up on IG. Uh, I think I have it. I'm gonna have it in the description here, my IG account, um, and I can you know send you the link and stuff like that if you wanna. You want to get those. I, mean, I those are the ones I have, but I know they have different styles. But yeah, man. But yeah, those are my books. Um, again, I appreciate everybody for stopping in. And um, yeah, until next time. All right. Later, y'all. Peace.